Hey all, Imperial Ace here, and I'm going to show you how to install the Mediterranean Air War, MAW, MAW, whatever you want to call it, um, add-on for Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator 3. First off, you're going to want to make sure that you have your game patched up to version 3.1. I have a previous tutorial to show you how to do that. Once you have completed that, you're going to want to go to the link in the description below and download the Maw mod. I'm just gonna call it Maw. Once you've done that, you'll come down here. There's gonna be several things here that you can click on. Go ahead and just click on this one right here. I guess. Next, next. Agree. And you're going to want to go to the folder that your Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator 3 is installed on. For me, it is Program Files x86 Microsoft Games Combat Flight Simulator 3. For you, it might be Program Files Microsoft Games Combat Flight Simulator 3. Uh, just find where that is, browse to it, and select just a folder. Don't click into it. Click Next. Click Start. It's going to copy a ton of files. This will take a little bit of time. But it's just copying over all of the files that it will need from the stock Combat Flight Simulator 3. This is going to create an entirely new install for you. So let's just let it run and do its thing real quick. All right. It seems to have finished, so we'll click Next. We'll click exit and wait for just a bit. It's going to pop up the next portion for us. It might have already done so. Yep, it's hidden for me. Click next, next. I agree, next. And now this folder will have been created for you just now when it copied all of those files. Make sure that it's the correct one. This is going to be the one that's going to be installed to for me. I click next and click start. And this is going to run for a little while. If it's starting to take too long, then I'll just go ahead and cut to the end for you. But let's just see how long it takes. Okay, we're back. It just completed the install and it popped up this web page here. Uh, you can look over it. It's also in the README. It is pretty much going to show us how to get. It's set up. These are just things that you can read over if you want to. We don't really need to look over them very much right now. We do need to look at disable validate device. That's gonna be a little bit different than some of the other things we do. I believe that's automatically selected though. So click next and click exit. At this point, it should pop up the config for us automatically. It says that it's been Completed. We'll go into here. Overrides. Turn off dual pass render. Yes, it is set up. And I think it said high resolution Z buffer. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that as well. And just because I don't like to leave it on, we'll disable the intro movie and disable shadows as well. You'll see why we do that later in the video. At this point, we can do our display options. It looks like it's already selected for us. Click File, and click Exit. At this point, you should be able to run the game. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. You'll see all the new things here. Oh, I don't know why it's popping up that. From another run and the splash screen here, all these different icons that you can explore yourself. There is a chance that it won't load 100% right because I already have installed this, but it should. Let's go ahead and try. It also takes the first time you load it just a little while to completely load from the splash screen. Just make sure that you're staying patient with it as it completes uh, its first time run. Don't get too impatient with it. Don't think that it's locked up yet. Because ta-da, here we go. And here we are. It's loaded up for us quite nicely. 
we can go ahead and do a quick flight. I don't have my stick plugged in right now, but we can go ahead and Looks like it exited out on its own. It should not do that, but my computer is running a little bit slow right now. And look at our compatibility just to make sure. I like to run compatibility for Windows XP Service Pack 3. Also, I like to change the high DPI settings, have them both checked, apply. Okay, go ahead and run it again. And it loads faster for us this time because it's completed its first time load. I never have really had any issues with the If you do, just go ahead and click on another plane and it should load for you. If you want to just leave it at that and are satisfied with the game, then you can go ahead and check off now. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you back for another tutorial later. Thanks. Bye bye. For those of you who have stuck around, I assume you want to install Encore Shadows. This greatly improves the graphical quality for this game as well. And it's going to be the same way we install it on the stock version. You already know we need to go to effects, FX textures. Do control A, control C. And then control V over here. If it asks you to replace, go ahead and click yes. Continue. Now we can go back to our root folder here. Our root folder here. And take from shaders 30 all the D3, D8, and sun effect. Copy that. Paste it in. If it asks you to replace anything, it should just be the sun effect. Click, click yes. And click confirm. And it should be good to go. So let's go ahead and come to our config right here. We're going to need to run this. And we're going to need to set it to custom. Click OK. That's not an issue. Set it to high. Overrides. Turn off dual pass render. Turn on high resolution Z buffer. Turn on disable shadows. I like to disable intro movie because there's not one and it just makes things a lot smoother. Go ahead and click OK. File, change display. Everything's to, everything seems to have been set up here for us already. And click OK. File, exit. Make sure you click File, Exit so that it actually saves your settings. Now we should be able to load this. Shouldn't have any problems. Give it just a bit sometimes it does load slow but it should still load faster than the first time we turned it on it also depends on how your computer wants to behave and it looks like it didn't want to load i wonder why let's go ahead and check properties compatibility everything seems to be okay let's go ahead and click on campaign I bet you it's because I have this installed on another area on my PC, just like with the regular one. I bet you that's it. So let's go to my program files, Microsoft Games, Mediterranean Air War. I like to load it from the campaign, but I think we can just load it from here. It might say that my config is out of date. It's loading a little bit slow today. My computer is running a little bit slow. It 
this tends to happen if you have multiple installs of the same thing on here. It sees that you already have that and sometimes won't load properly. Which seems to have been the case here because we're loading just fine for my regular install. So uh, this already has Anchor shaders installed. You just follow the steps that I showed you earlier. Wait for it to load. Ah, here we go. And as you can see, we have a already much better graphical experience. The plane looks a lot sharper. Let's go ahead and just select a different plane and give it a quick test flight. Ah, yes, here we go. It's actually running. Love the sound effects on this thing. The plane's beautiful. The textures are beautiful. It just creates a much better graphical experience when you install Angular shaders. It's a very good expansion, the mall uh, expansion is. I really enjoy it being able to fly out in the Mediterranean or in North Africa in the desert. Um, you should not have some of those issues that I ran into because you should not have this installed already. That's probably why you're watching this video. And it should load up just like my actual install did. You shouldn't have any of these other issues. Anyways, thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Enjoy the Maw mod and enjoy it with Anchor shaders because it just makes it everything look so much better. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe really helps out the channel. Join me for another tutorial next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.